soft robotics or soft robots are, as the name implies, made of soft materials, robots that deform, and traditional robots are made of rigid bodies. That means tra traditional robots cannot adapt to uncertainties in the environment. They cannot make contact with objects and they can be unsafe. In a, any uncertain environment, any unstructured environment that's not predetermined, a soft robot would have some advantages. Instead of having articulated joints, they deform continuously along their length, which makes them able to take impact, uh, absorb energy in, in, in terms of a collusion. There are a few problems with soft robots. They are not strong, so they cannot carry a lot of weight. They deform under payload. So with this new grant from the National Science Foundation Career Program, we are interested in uh, creating new capabilities to solve robots using origami-inspired folding techniques, which is basically a repeating pattern of folding. When you create these repeating patterns, you can generate some interesting mechanical behaviors, one of which is having stiffness in some directions and softness in some other directions. So if you put it into a small crack that is larger than the diameter of the robot, you can easily navigate through that maze-like three-dimensional structure by deforming your body selectively. It's also really lightweight. That means I can pick up objects 10 times the weight of the, the robot body. Because soft robots are safer to interact with the human body, we can actually wear them. We can put them as on our hand as a glove to give us haptic or tactile sensations from a remote controlled robot arm. A good application of soft robots is uh, disaster response. Um, we cannot really put rigid mobile robots into under rubble or navigate through some complex passageways. A snake-like robot that is really narrow and slender in the cross-section can really go into these narrow holes and navigate through find survivors in a search and rescue application. I think the way we live, we do business, we work, will, could be changed. We can have variable robots that are soft, we can have fingers that self-deform, we can have things that we couldn't even imagine 10 years ago. Uh, so that really, that really interests me, that's really exciting.